Hello everyone. So uh, this is part 2 for how to draw the Bohr structures for the first 20 elements. To draw the Bohr structures I hope everyone has seen the part 1 video and hopefully you have understood it. Before starting with the uh, 10 to uh, 11 to 20 elements let us revise the key points related to, that, uh, related to the Bohr's atomic model. The A it represents atomic mass number, Z represents atomic number. The Z which is atomic number it is equal to number of electrons as well as number of protons since uh, the atom is electrically neutral. So the positive number of positive charges it is equal to number of negative charges. The number of neutron which is represented by a small n it is equal to A minus Z that means atomic mass number minus atomic number. The electronic configuration it is written with the help of Z or the number of electron and while writing the electronic configuration we have to consider that the K shell can accommodate maximum number of 2 electron and uh, the rest of the shells they can accommodate 8 electrons only while writing the electronic configuration. But if there is a question in your question paper that what is the maximum capacity for the L shell you will write down 8, for K shell it is 2. For M shell it is 18, for N shell it is 32 electron. Valence electron it is the number of the electron present in the outermost or the, or the last shell. Valency is said to be the combining capacity of any element and it is uh, while calculating or while writing the valency we have to consider that valency it is equal to number of electron if valence electron is equal to 1 or 2 or 3. And for, uh, if the valence electron is more than 3 that is 4, 5, 6, 7 or 8 then we have to subtract it from 8. That means valency will be equal to 8 minus the number of valence electrons. If the valence electron is 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. Now let us start with the next 10 elements. The element sodium it is 23, A, Z is 11. Then N is 23 minus 11 that will become 12 and then to write down EC we will write down again K shell, L shell, uh, 11 we have to distribute, K shell will accommodate 2 and 9 are left but L shell cannot accommodate more than 8 so only 8. So how many are left? 2 plus 8 will become 10. So uh, this is 11. So 11 minus 10 it will be 1 electron is left which we will be putting in the last shell that is M. Now the last shell will become the M shell and the number of valence electron will become 1. If it is valence electron is 1 the valency will also be equal to 1. Number of protons it is 11. Number of neutrons it is 12. So K shell 2 electrons. L shell total 8. So this is 4, 5, 6, 7 and then 8. M shell only 1 electron. Next is magnesium. So this is the atomic mass number that is 24. Then Z and proton and electron is 12. Number of neutron this is 24 minus 12. So it is 12. Now EC, K shell and L shell and then M shell. 12 we have to distribute 2, 10 are left out of 10, 8 can only be there. So only 2 are left. So it is accommodated in the M shell. So outermost shell contains 2 electron, it is 2. So valency will also be equal to 2. Number of protons, it is 12. Number of neutrons, it is also 12. K shell will be having 2 electrons. L shell will be having 8, 4, 5. 6, 7 and 8. M shell will have again 2 electrons. Now this is aluminium. This is 27. This is 13. Number of neutrons 27 minus 13 that will give you 14. EC we will write down using this. K shell, L shell, M shell. 13 we have to distribute 2 remaining are left are 11 so 8 remaining how many uh, 2 plus 10 is 10, uh, 2 plus 8 is 10 so 13 minus 10 that is 3 so 3 will be accommodated over here so last shell will be this number of valence electron valency will also be equal to 3 so number of protons we have to mention this is 13 number of neutrons 14 and then k shell will accommodate 2 electron l shell 8 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. M shell only 3, 1, 2 and 3. 
Next is silicon, atomic mass number 28. This is at Z, number of proton, number of electron, that is 14. This is 28 minus 14, that is 14. EC, K shell, L shell, M shell. This we have to distribute 2, again 8. So 10 are gone. How many are left? 4 are left. This is the outermost electron. So this will become 4. And valency, now it will be 8 minus 4. So it is 4, right? Number of protons over here. 14, number of neutrons, 14, K shell, 2, L shell, sorry, this is not correct, next, so 1, 2, 3, and this one is 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, M shell, 4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. So we have come to 15th element that is phosphorus. So it is 31. Then this is 15. 31 minus 15, it will be 16. To write down the EC, we will distribute this in the three shells. K shell 2, this is 8. 10 are gone. So how many left? 5 are left. This is the last shell. So over here, we will write down valence electrons in the M shell is 5. 8 minus 5, it will become 3. Number of protons, it is 15. This is 16, K shell will be having 2 electrons, L shell, 8 electrons, M shell, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Sulfur that is 32, atomic mass number, atomic number 16, 32 minus 16, it is 16. To write down EC, again K shell, L shell, M shell. So 16 distribute to 8, 6. That will come out to be 16. Last outermost shell contains 6. So it is 6. Valency will be 8 minus 6. That is 2. Number of protons, it is 16. This is also 16. Then the K shell will be having 2. This one is 8, 4, 5. 6, 7 and 8. M shell will have 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and this will become 6. So this is sulfur. Next is chlorine which is 35 atomic mass number. This is 17. Then 35 minus 17 that is 18. To write down EC, let's distribute these 17 electrons over here. This is 2, 8 and 7 that will make out to be total 17 electron last shell m which contains 7 electron so that means the valency will be 8 minus 7 that is 1 now number of protons we have to show that is 17 neutron will become 18 k shell will be having 2 electron l shell will be having 8 this is 4 5 6 7 and 8 m shell 7 1 2 3 4, 5, 6 and 7. Next is argon. Argon atomic mass number is 40. Z is 18. Then N is 40 uh, minus 18. That will come out to be 22. EC. We will distribute these 18 electrons. These 18 electrons K shell 2. L shell 8. How many left? 8. So, outermost shell, now this is again the case where we have the organ as the noble gas configuration because its outermost shell is complete, that is M shell is 8. We know that the maximum capacity of the M shell is 18, but over here while writing EC, we have to write down in the Bohr structure, not we will not exceed with the 8, not more than 8 electrons we can put in any shell. So, valence electron will become 8, valency will be 8 minus 8, that is 0. As we know, it is a noble gas, so valency has to be 0. Number of protons over here, 18, this is 22, then the K shell again, 2, L shell, L shell will be 8, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. M shell will be again 8. 1, 2, 
थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एंड एट सो दिस इज आर्गन Now these two are very very important. The last two and they are some special structures often asked in your exams. Potassium and calcium. Potassium it's thirty nine. This is nineteen. Thirty nine minus nineteen it will give you how much? Twenty. Then E C we have to distribute these nineteen electron K L and M. So two electron, eight electron. How many left? Nine. Ten are accommodated, but we cannot accommodate. I told you just now that we cannot put more than eight electron in any shell. So out of nine, again eight over here, and the one left will go to the n shell, right? So it is two eight eight one. This is the electronic configuration for potassium. So number of protons we have to uh, the valence electron now it will become one. So valence electron one. Valency. If it is one, two, or three, valency will be same. It's one. Number of protons over here. It is nineteen. Number of neutrons. It is twenty. K shell will be two electrons. L shell eight. This is four, five, six, seven, eight. M shell again eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. And shell only one electron. So this is calcium. Uh, this is potassium. Now calcium. This is forty. This is twenty. And this is forty minus twenty. That is twenty again. E C. We have to accommodate these twenty electrons. K L M and then N. So twenty two. Eight. How many are left? Ten are left. So out of ten, only eight can be here. Not more than that. And in the n shell, that means the remaining two. Now they will become twenty. Last outermost shell is n. That is two. So valence electron is two. Valency it is again e two. So it is valency will also equal to two. Number of protons twenty. This is also twenty. K shell. Two, L shell. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. This one also eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And N shell two. So one and two. This is calcium. So these are the diagram. Bohr structure for the atom for the first twenty elements. Students, I hope you understood how to draw the Bohr structures for the first twenty elements, which are very important for your course also. But you can also enjoy. doing the activity of creating beautiful bohr structure using different craft material of your own choice like colored sheets buttons stick bindis or stones clay pistachio shells or any other craft material so you can create your own bohr structures like you can see in the samples shown over here so enjoy learning science everyone thank you for watching